In Madrid on the afternoon of April 28, the only indication of light came from car headlights. In seconds, 15 gigawatts of energy capacity, equivalent to 60% of Spain's national demand, evaporated from the grid, plunging 60 million people into complete darkness. The largest blackout in Iberian history had begun, paralyzing two entire nations and revealing the heating fragility of our modern energy systems. The catastrophe brutally exposed the paradox of the green transition. In Spain and Portugal, leaders in renewable energy were victims of their own success. At the critical moment, 59% of Spanish energy came from solar sources and 12% from wind, more than 70% of total generation depending on resources that do not provide the stabilizing inertia that traditional grids require. This energy island, with its limited connections to the rest of Europe, became its own enemy. When low-frequency electrical oscillations caused the Iberian system to disconnect from the European grid, the collapse was inevitable and devastating. The human impact was immediate. Hospitals resorting to emergency generators, 35,000 passengers rescued from paralyzed trains, interrupted metros, payment systems rendered useless. The economic cost between 2 and 3 billion euros for both countries. More painful still, at least 8 lives lost. 70 in Spain, 1 in Portugal, due to carbon monoxide poisoning, fires caused by candles, and failures in vital medical equipment. This was not just a technical event, but a civilizational warning. In the accelerated pursuit of decarbonization, we neglected old lessons about stability and redundancy. The Iberian blackout does not represent a failure of renewable energies themselves, but it reveals our collective failure to adapt our infrastructures to the new energy reality. The lesson is clear. The speed of the energy transition must be accompanied by equally ambitious investment in grid resilience, interconnections, and large-scale storage systems. The green future we aspire to depend not only on replacing fossil fuels, but on the complete invention on how we manage, distribute, and protect our energy supply.